I'm going to show you how to make this little pair of earrings here. Okay. I'm going to use kit number ACXC59 from Jewelry Maker. Okay. And there you've got your beads and your findings. So for one of these earrings, you're going to need five of the drop beads from your kit. You're going to need 15 of the 14 millimeter beads. You're going to need one crimp and one earring finding. That's for one earring, so you obviously need twice of that uh, for both. Then I'm going to use, for my tools, I'm going to use a pair of cutters, a pair of flat nose pliers, and I'm also going to use some beading thread. Okay? So to make this earring, you're going to need uh, about a foot, about 30 centimeters of your beading thread. Okay? You're going to start by picking up one of your drop beads. Okay, bring it down to the center of your thread. And then with the end of the thread that is closer to the wider end of your drop bead, you're going to pick up three of your four millimeter beads. Okay. Then you're going to take one of the drops again, and with this thread that has got the four millimeter beads on, you're going to go through the wider end of your drop of your next drop bead, like so. With the other end, you're going to go through the drop bead in the opposite direction. Okay? So basically, that's what you have here. Just make sure it's sort of more or less in the center of your thread. It doesn't have to be very precise, just more or less in the middle. Okay? And you're going to repeat that again. So with the thread that's coming out of the wider end of your last drop bead, you're going to pick up three of your four millimeter beads. Okay. Then you're going to pick up your next drop bead. Again, with the end that's coming out of your four millimeters, you're going to go through the wider end of your drop bead. And with the other end, you're going to go through the narrow end. Okay. Pull it tight. Now you've got three on there. Okay, then repeat again. So pick up another three of your four millimeter beads. through the wider end of your next drop bead and then the narrow end okay pull it tight okay just make sure you keep your tension the whole time okay and then the last time again so pick up another three And then pick up your last drop bead in the same way again. So through the wider end and then the narrow end. Okay, there you go. Now don't worry at this point if it's a little bit wonky because it'll flatten out later on. Okay, so that's what you have at the moment. Okay, now what you're going to do is, can you see you've got one thread that's coming out in the middle of your earring here? Okay, you're going to pick up those two beads there in the middle. So pick up two more of your four millimeter beads. Okay, and then you're gonna go through the drop bead that is opposite on the other side. Okay, like so. Okay, so now you've got that bit there. Can you see it's starting to flatten out a bit better now? Okay, put it really nice and tight. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your beading thread and you're going to bend it up tight close to your uh, your drop bead. Okay, put it tight first so it's nice and snug and then bend it up again. So essentially that's what you have. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take both ends of your beading thread, put it through your last 
four millimeter bead, like so. Okay, also put your beading thread through your crimp bead, both ends through your crimp bead. Okay, and then pull them down. Now, if this is the second one that you're making in the pair, then just put it on top of the other one to make sure that they're both the same shape and size. Just play around with it a little until they match. Okay. Like so. Okay, hold it there. Okay. Now you're going to take one end of your beading thread, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to go back down through your crimp and through your four millimeter bead. Okay, try to make sure they sort of all stay in the same spot. Okay, put it down until you have a little loop at the top, like so. You can double check just to make sure you still have the same shape as your other earring. Okay, when you've pulled that down nice and tight, then you're going to squish your crimp at the top. Okay, like that. You can put a crimp cover in there if you wanted to, um, but you don't absolutely have to. Okay, then you're going to take your cutters. You're going to cut off the threads then make sure that you only cut off the loose ends so just turn your thread back away from your other threads like so a little bit because then you can go in really nice and tight and cut that off okay and the same with the other one just turn it away from everything else just to make sure that you don't cut anything that you shouldn't okay pull on it a little bit so you get nice and close to your bead and then cut it off Okay, so you've got your earring made up there. Okay, then all you're going to do is you're going to take your shepherd's hook and you're going to open the loop with your flat nose pliers, open it towards you, like so. You're going to put on your little made earring, close that, and that's it. Nice and simple. If you're if it's being a little bit crooked and not sitting flat can play around with it a little because the, the thread has a bit of a memory but you can um, sort of wiggle that out of that uh, and flatten it down or if you really wanted to you can put it between two books or something like that uh, overnight just to flatten it properly but as you can see it's, it's behaving quite well okay that's it really quick and easy pair of earrings